What's up guys, it is Totentons back with another KOL video. Uh, so last time I did the C, the Scholar Path, and I uh, made a regrettable mistake of doing the video on my laptop, which is uh, apparently a massive piece of crap. So there was some huge audio problems in that video, so I'm redoing it on my good computer, uh, the one with plenty of RAM and a fast processor. So. We shouldn't have any of those problems this time. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to clear out my results so we can track exactly what we're doing. And so we're going to do the scholar path. The only real prerequisites for this is you must have done it before so that you have the gear, the Merkin Scholar Vestments. It's just a, a hat, uh, actually a mask, Merkin Scholar mask, and the uh, Merkin Scholar tailpiece. Um, aside from that, um, as you'll see, I do have a couple of permed skills, but the only thing that you really, really need here is this one right here, Funk Slinging. Uh, you're going to need that, um, so either have that permed or be a Disco Bandit. And then you'll need some sort of combat spell uh, for when we fight Yogurt. Um, I, you know, use anything from the uh, Pasta Mancer tree that works, or you can use some of the elemental um, hobo skills, uh, like Grease Lightning, Awesome Balls of Fire, any of those, those will work as well. Um, and then uh, some helpful stuff is uh, Ruthless Efficiency is going to help you de-level uh, the boss a little bit faster. Um, I mean, if you have Funk Slinging, what we're going to be doing when we heal each round is we're going to D-level as well. So having that makes your D-levels work better. Um, and then uh, beyond that, just anything that helps you survive is going to be a big help. Uh, so initially what we'll want to do is equip the Sea Cowboy Hat and the Sea Chaps. And then we're going to head over to Purchases and we're going to purchase a couple dozen Sea Lassos. We'll just do 24 just to be safe. We'll need three sea cowbells. And then we're also going to need to get some uh, word quizzes and cheat sheets, uh, but we can wait for that. Oh, the purchases are really dragging. Okay, so... Uh, once we do that, we're going to need to have both the fishy effect and the ability to breathe underwater. Uh, you can skip the breathing underwater and just use the little scuba tank that the old man will sell you. Uh, I don't recommend that. It's going to cause a lot of issues because uh, your item drops and everything are going to be just total crap. So you have a few options. Uh, if you have the uh, Asden Martin, you can drive waterproofly. That's going to give you the breathing underwater and uh, a few other benefits. Um, not totally clear on what those are because I don't think that's been fully spaded yet, but uh, it does seem to help with the item drops being a little bit better and not getting them stolen by the dolphins as much as a result, and you can move around a little bit easier underwater. And then the fishy effect we're going to need, um, that will... Uh, reduce the adventure cost because normally when you adventure underwater each adventure is going to actually cost you two adventures and uh, that's horrible because uh, we're gonna probably end up doing this run in about 45 turns and uh, if you don't have fishy it's gonna take you uh, double that so it'll be around 90 so I'm feeding my uh, Asden Martin and I'm gonna use to drive waterproofly and I'm gonna do it twice um, if you don't have one of those, your best bet is to do a fish juice box. If I can search properly, that would help. Uh, fish juice box is about 50,000 meat, and if we look at the wiki page, uh, you can see that it gives you the fishy skill, or fishy effect rather, and also allows you to breathe underwater. So it does both at the same time. So um, it's 50,000 meat. You're going to get 20 turns of fishy, 30 turns of really deep breath, so you'd probably need three of those. Uh, so you're talking 150,000 meat for that. 
um, may seem steep to to you depending on what your uh, your funds are like um, but if you compare that to like uh, something that gives you just fishy like the uh, cup of guilty that's 40,000 and that's gonna give you um, 20 or 30 turns of fishy I forget which 30 turns of fishy so uh, if you if you don't care about breathing underwater you're gonna need that scuba tank and you would still have to get a couple of these that's gonna be 80,000 meat uh, but your item drops and everything are gonna be pretty poor so if you don't have any way to do it I would do the uh, the fish juice box just get two of those watch your your turns are left of all that and if you have to get a third one or you know you could just get two fish juice boxes and then a, a cup of guilty if you wanted to as well uh, whatever combination works for you uh, but that's what you're going to want to do if you don't have access to other things what i'm going to do is um, i've already gotten the uh, ability to breathe underwater from my asden martin and then i'm going to eat some sardines from the space gate that's going to give me 60 turns of fishy so i'll only need to eat one and then uh, while we're doing that, I'm going to just uh, consume a few other things. Make sure that you leave yourself a decent amount of stomach space because we're going to need to eat a sushi later on. Um, so I would leave a good five space total just to be safe. Um, but other than that, uh, your drunkenness isn't going to really matter. You're going to want to have some spleen space. And uh, so we're, we're going to actually buy the stench jelly right now. We're going to need to use a few of these at least. I'm going to buy 10 just to make sure I got my bases covered with that. And uh, just verify that you have fishy and you have whatever your breathing underwater effect is. Uh, in my case, driving waterproofly. Double check that you got the sea cowboy hat and the chaps equipped. Uh, the rest of the stuff doesn't really matter. Equip whatever uh, you wish um, that's going to help you survive. I'm a seal clubber, so I'm using stuff that boosts muscle I'm going to actually head to the floundry and get a fish hatchet and put that in my offhand because that's going to help with the encounters uh, that drops our encounters I'm at uh, minus 26 which is pretty good um, then set up your mood so I'm using a fairly minimal mood right now but I have one set up already for C and it casts all the basic uh, like the uh, level one skills from each class and everything uh, to boost stats but the important thing here is we have uh, incredibly hulking we have forcefulness we have cock of the walk and superhuman sarcasm and uh, those are fairly cheap um, items that you can get from the mall if you can't make them yourself uh, flexible hollow also gives you a little bit of a boost and then Hawking's Elixir of Brilliance boosts your mysticality. Uh, keeping all those on there is going to boost your stats quite a bit, and that's going to help you survive in the sea if you are not uh, very high level. Um, by high level, I'm meaning like 20 or higher. Um, usually I end up doing the sea right after I break the prism, so I'm level 13, maybe 14 if I've done a few adventures after breaking the prism. So uh, my base stats, even with the uh, buffed stats with the equipment I have, is not really that great for surviving in the sea so um, set up your mood appropriately for survival and execute that mood and as you can see uh, my buff stats are are pretty healthy now we've got moxie around 800 uh, muscle of 1700 a uh, miscality isn't going to matter as much because we're a we're a seal clubber right now anyway uh, but we will want to have decent mysticality once we get to that final fight uh, because yogurt is only going to be hurt by spells uh, you can't use physical attacks against her or you will die. All right, so we've got all that set up. We've got our stench chili. We've got our lassos and our cowbells. Uh, the reason why we're putting on the cowboy hat and the chaps now is uh, because we're going to start training that lasso skill immediately when we go into the sea. Uh, you don't have to wait until you get to the coral corral to start doing that. So we've already visited the old man. we got the quest to go to the sea. We're going to go straight to the seafloor and the octopus's garden. And what you're going to want to do here is banish everything except for the Neptune flytrap. Um, do it however you want. Uh, what I do, if you didn't have um, skills like Snoke Bomb or Batter Up, 
Uh, and if you don't have the Kremlin's Greatest Briefcase, which also has Banish, uh, just buy a Crystal Skull, a Louder Than Bomb, and Tennis Balls from the mall. You can get them fairly cheap, and uh, those will banish the creatures for you. Or you can Olfact the Flytrap. I prefer not to do that. It's kind of a waste of Olfaction. There's only uh, four monsters in this zone. And as you can see, the first time we fight the Flytrap, we get the Wriggling Flytrap Pellet, which uh, that's what we're looking for. Uh, you can use the regular Flytrap Pellet. You're going to get a little bit of meat from that. Uh, sometimes you'll get a familiar. And uh, then use the Wriggling Flytrap Pellet, and you're going to get Little Brother. And uh, you, you're you using Mafia, right? Yeah, Mafia gives you a nice little link here. It takes you right to the castle. Talk to Little Brother. He'll give you this... Um, Little quest here, head over to the wreck of the Edgar Fitzsimmons. Spend one single turn there. Don't do any more turns than that. Head over to your item manager. Use a stench jelly. Just one. And then adventure there again. And you should get the non-combat here asking you to open the bulkhead to release the creatures. Do that and you get Big Brother. Head back over to their castle. Talk to Big Brother. He's going to give you the bubbling stone. Uh, if for some reason you need it, you can make the uh, the helmet at this point, but we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to buy a sushi rolling mat, though, and we're going to use that to put it in our kitchen, and we're just going to leave that alone for now. Head back over to Little Brother. He's going to give you the uh, mission to go find Grandpa. Uh, the zone for this is going to vary depending on whether you're a muscle, mysticality, or moxie class. We're muscle, uh, so we're going to the mine. And spend one turn there. Uh, if you use uh, Wham as your custom combat script, Wham is going to automatically use the lasso, and that's going to train up your lasso skill. All right, so we spent one turn there. And if you don't know already, uh, Stench Jelly forces uh, non-combat in the last zone that you com uh, that you adventured in. That's why we're spending one adventure there first. So we spend it a single adventure there, then we use the Stench Jelly, and we return there, and we get a non-combat right away. Depending on what class you are, there are other non-combats besides Grandpa. Uh, like if you're a Disco Bandit or a Sorcerer, you can get some of the um, ingredients for making the different uh, potions and drinks and such from the sea. So uh, we'll use another stench jelly. We'll go back to the uh, mine again and then we'll do a third and go back again one more time and then uh, we're gonna watch in horror and you'll get a skill um, you'll get this message saying that you acquired the skill even if you've already permed the skill um, doesn't mean that anything really it's just a standard message so um, you'll still have the skill as you normally would so once we have grandpa head back to the castle go talk to grandpa ask him about his wife and you'll get this um, big blob here of flavor text which is pretty entertaining to read uh, grandpa has some pretty funny things to say so um, we're rushing through it right now so I'm not going to read all that but I do recommend um, talking to grandpa and reading all this stuff because it's pretty funny so he's going to give us the mission to go find his wife it's going to send us to the Merkin outpost and um, what we're looking for here is a few things um, we don't actually care about saving grandma it uh, doesn't have anything to do with fighting yogurt so all we really care about is getting the American lock key that's not going to be a non-combat yet we have to fight some of the creatures here first so what you can do is set your goal as American lock key and set some adventures and begin uh, but as you can see we locked out and we got it immediately on the first combat so that's um, that's pretty handy for us uh, problem with using stench jelly here at this point is that um, we're not necessarily going to get the non-combat to use that lock key and uh, I'm just gonna show you we'll see what happens so I used one stench jelly and we're going to adventure there again and as luck would have it we actually get the into the outpost non-combat right away so um, here at this choice which one you want to choose is going to depend on who dropped the lock key since you're using mafia it's going to tell you which one to choose 
assuming you have blatant spoilers turned on. Uh, real quick, if you don't have that turned on, uh, which you may not want to have it turned on, but if you don't and you want it turned on, go to General, go to Preferences. This window is going to pop up. Make sure you're in the Relay Browser section and this box here, Show Blatant Spoilers for Choices and Puzzles, is checked. Right, so uh, select the uh, one that Mafia indicates. You're going to get three choices here. It's random which one it is in. So um, there's no real rhyme or reason here. Uh, start from the bottom, start from the top, start from the middle, whatever you want to do. Uh, but as luck would have it, uh, the first one we chose at the top had the stash box. So use the stash box once you get it. Then use the trail map. And you're going to get this message saying that the currents are powerful enough to rip a map right out of your hands. Uh, once you get that, head back to the castle, talk to Grandpa, ask him about the currents. And then he, that's going to open up the Coral Corral. Head on over there. Um, you can banish everything here if you want. I keep the sea cow just to get sea cow bells because you, you are going to need those. Now the struggle we're going to face here is that we haven't really had very many adventures here yet. In fact, if you look here, we've only used 11 so far, so our uh, lasso skill probably isn't good enough yet. And uh, let's actually just use it real quick and see. Uh, you can see you twirl the lasso and carefully toss it over the uh, doggy's head. You yank the rope and knock him down. Unfortunately, you yanked the lasso a little too hard and it broke. Oh well. You feel like you're getting better at this whole lasso thing. So what we're looking for is it to say you expertly toss it, and we're not getting that yet. So what I do in this zone is um, I do banish everything except for the sea cow, and um, you'll get the seahorse later on usually. Uh, for some reason today we got it, our third combat in there. Uh, so. Normally what you want to do is once you have an expert level is you want to use two cowbells your first round, then a third cowbell and a lasso your second round, and that will let you tame the seahorse. But obviously we aren't an expert at it, so that didn't work for us. So let's, let's swap him out. And actually I meant to do this. We don't want to use the cowbell again. Oh, interesting. If you use Macro Meteorite to swap out a monster underwater, you then get a message saying that it's on dry land. All right. So anyway, we need to uh, spend some turns here before we... Okay, so what we'll do instead is uh, let's actually go ahead and... Do I have a green smoke bomb? There we go. Let's just head back over to the Merkin Outpost and spend a few turns there until we get our lasso skill up a little bit more. If we can stop getting non-combats anyway. Alright, let's actually just alter our mood for a moment here. We'll skip that adventure. We'll skip that adventure again. Once again, we're going to skip that. And then we're going to skip it again. And then we'll skip that adventure one more time. And then I don't know why I keep getting non-combats today. Uh, apparently the, uh, the game wants me to get through this quickly, but I didn't get my skill trained up high enough yet. So let's head over here instead. All right. Thought we could maybe save Grandma while we try to train up our lasso skill, but apparently that's not going to happen. All right, so we're up to deftly tossing it, so that's a little bit closer. And expertly, there we go. All right, so that only took a few adventures. Let's head back over. And uh, now we're probably not going to end up encountering that seahorse for quite a while because that's just how luck works here. Let's switch our mood back. Uh, as you notice the sea cowboy dropped lasso. The uh, sea cow will drop cowbells. You can sell those or keep them. 
I usually just keep them around because you're going to end up using them next time you do the sea. All right, so we just need to encounter that seahorse again. And uh, if we don't get it this next turn, I'm going to actually just go ahead and... That wasn't a turn. All right, so we didn't encounter him. So let's just see if we can do this. I don't know if they even show up in the time spinner because I've never tried this. But let's see what happens just for the, the sake of... All right. Nope. All right. So let's just head on back. It's worth it worth a check to see and this is the kind of stuff you're gonna have to deal with is uh, just the randomness there's always some degree of randomness in this game unless you do the uh, live ascend repeat path then you pretty much know exactly what's gonna happen based on what your item drops and blah 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 are all set at All right, there we go. So we got the seahorse again. Let's do Funk Sling, two cowbells, and then Funk Sling, one more cowbell and a lasso. And now we got our pet wild seahorse. Let's use the currents. And now, uh, before we hit the library, we're going to switch our outfit over to the American Scholar's vestments. And then we're going to get some word quizzes. We're going to need 10 of those, and those are about 4,500 meat apiece right now. And then we're going to get some cheat sheets, and those are going for about 8. 10 of those as well. Head to your usable items, and use 10 word quizzes. That's going to train up our, um, our vocabulary. Basically what we're going to do now is we're going to try to find the Dread Scroll, uh, Dread Scroll and then we need to figure out all the words on the Dread Scroll. Uh, the higher our vocabulary, the easier that's going to be. There's some non-combats that we'll hit in the library that um, has three different choices and each of those choices will let us get a word. Uh, then the other thing we're looking for is the Drifter here. We want his knuckle bone. Uh, let's see if we have... No, we don't. All right, so we'll just we'll just wipe him out. Oh, what you can do is you can also yellow ray him if you're having a hard time. As you can see, the stupid dolphin swam up and grabbed our knuckle bone before we could get it. Freaking jerk! All right, so um, and that's gonna happen. Our item drops from like 120, and that's even with the tot and uh, driving waterproofly. Let's actually just double check where we're at. We still have 35 turns of fishy and 35 of driving waterproofly, so we're okay on that. Uh, let's spend another one here. So the uh, researcher here can drop the dark book, which can give you the uh, deep dark visions skill. I recommend perming that skill, and then you don't have to worry about getting this. And uh, you can also get heal scrolls and kill scrolls, which we're going to need as well. And in fact, uh, we do have a kill scroll. We're going to need to use one kill scroll and one heal scroll in combat at some point. That's going to give us a word. So let's use the kill scroll now. And as you can see, we get this bolded word here. That's one of the words for the dread scroll. And then let's uh, let's kill him, and we got a heal scroll. So next combat, we're going to use that. Uh, this is a Merkin alphabetizer. Uh, you can buy a work T in the mall or you can try to get it from this one and if we get it then great and as you can see we got another bolded word from using that heel scroll and so then let's kill him and see what we get and we got the work T so the work T uh, don't use it like that in fact what we we'll want to do is head over to our kitchen and let's see if we even have okay we don't have uh, the ingredients we need to make any sushi. Uh, what we'll need is some kind of meat. And uh, let's do beefy fish meat. We just need one. 
and then just go back into rolling some sushi and we'll make whatever we can and when you do that it's going to use the work t and that's going to give you another word or phrase and we got that so uh, we're up to three so far and then um before we head back in there we want to buff up our spooky resistance i'm just going to switch to a candy corn costume and call it good and then use deep dark visions uh, deep dark visions is going to cost about 100 mp uh, as you can see there's a little bit of a penalty to mp casting because we're um, underwater but each time you cast this it's going to hurt real bad and if you see a bolded uh, word or phrase here that's another one of them uh, that we need for the dread scroll we didn't get one that time so we'll have to cast it again still didn't get one so we're going to restore hp and cast it again and uh, the third time still didn't work so we do it one more time and uh, one more time didn't work so we just keep on going and uh, yep, still not getting it so we'll go again restore HP and again restore HP and do it another time and there we go we finally got the phrase there alright so we'll head back on over to the library and we don't need this guy anymore so we'll banish him and we don't need that guy so we'll banish him and we got the dread scroll so you have a couple options here uh, let's go ahead and just hit use and see um, mafia is going to tell you which phrases or words you already have we have four here that we don't know so what's going to happen here uh, when you guess incorrectly is you're going to get three times however many you got wrong minus the one turn you spent reading the scroll so we have four choices here if we just went with the first option for each one and we got those all wrong we're looking at 12 minus 1 so 11 turns of um, deeply tainted mind where we can't use the dread scroll again until uh, we've used up those turns so one of these we can get once we get a knuckle bone and the other three we can get once we get those non-combats so uh, we're just gonna leave it at the uh, first choice for each one and hit read aloud and those are all incorrect as you can see so we need to burn 12 adventures here uh, what normally you'd want to do is wait I just kinda wanted to show you what's going on with that um, also uh, I didn't switch my tot back to the ninja costume um, so we'll want to do that before we get the next turn going so this is the non-combat that we're looking for playing the catalog card each of these choices is going to give you one of the words or phrase alright so we got the first one and what we can do is uh, if we want we can use stench jelly to get those faster but right now we want to get the drifter anyway so we're not going to do that and we're just going to keep choosing the different choices as we get that non-combat again alright so he still didn't drop the knuckle bone So we'll just keep fighting. And we get that again. So we have all but one word. And we already know uh, if we don't get that knuckle bone within the next six turns, once Deep Tainted Mind is worn off, we know that that first choice for that one, whichever one we have remaining, is incorrect. So we could always um, continue searching through them. And at this point, we don't want to have those non-combats anymore. So let's see where our turns are at for everything. All right, we have 24 and 44. Oh, I bet we, I bet Mafia bought one of those and used it. Let's just remove that. All right, so what you can also do if you are impatient and you don't feel like going through each of these manually is just set your mafia for however many turns of deep tainted mind you have left, uh, which in this case is four, and let it run. Um, but we did get a knuckle bone that time, so we're going to use it. That gives us the last word, and then let's go ahead and just burn four turns real quick here. All right, so we got those four turns burned. 
And what we'll want to do now is head into our inventory. Uh, we can just go into recent items and down to quest items and use that dread scroll. And as you can see, everything is filled in now. Read it aloud, and that's going to open up the temple. So uh, before we head over there to fight Yogurt, uh, what we're going to want to do is actually, I recommend just pulling up this page. And that's going to tell you which healing items you want to get. Uh, there's a few different tactics for doing this fight. Uh, you can use the um, the girdle to reduce your HP and stuff like that. Um, I don't really worry about that. I never have any problems with uh, just putting on my prayer beads, which it looks like we don't have any, so we're going to have to purchase those. We're going to need three. and equip all three. Those are going to reduce how many turns uh, were affected by the sacrament effect. And then just uh, purchase these healing items here. We'll only need one of each. You can only use it once during the fight and then you have to use a different one after that. So um, we probably have a heal scroll still but I'm just going to purchase each anyway so let's buy one of those I'm just gonna actually go with two just in case we for some reason die the first time we go uh, against yogurt so get the heel scroll the massage oil the soggy used band-aid don't do the uh, seed pod because that doesn't actually work healing crystal Extra strength red potion. A plaid bandage. And uh, what I find is uh, usually just those six are enough. And then what we're going to want alongside that are de-leveling items. So we already have some sea lassos, we can use that. Uh, Merkin mouth soap is a really good one to use underwater. Uh, so we'll get a couple of those. Crayon shavings like you would use uh, if you're fighting Shub. Uh, those are going to be helpful. And then uh, Robin's eggs I think work pretty good too. Um, but what we're going to want to do then is uh, if you have Ruthless Efficiency go ahead and cast that. And uh, it may be worth buffing your spell damage. Yeah, but I'm cheap when it comes to that, so I'm not going to let it do very much um, for the meat. And we'll just use a couple of those. We don't need it to be anything too outrageous. And then uh, if you if you have to, you can always try uh, debuffing your, your stats. Um, there's notes here about how to do that. Uh, if you're having trouble healing yourself during the sacrament rounds because your HP is too high, um, then you may find you need to unequip things. Um, there's the gut girdle that reduces your HP um, using cool juice, smart juice, so on and so forth. Um, only thing I'm going to really do is just change my shirt. And then we'll go ahead and head on over to the temple. And of course, um, you want to make sure you restore your MP first. Uh, easy way is to visit the nuns if you have that open. And then head over to the temple and enter. Uh, one last note real quick before we go in there. Uh, make sure you don't have any... Uh, effects that cause damage uh, like we have spiky shell for some reason so we need to unaffect that and let's just double check that that's actually gone uh, it may not be because uh, we already clicked the button here so let's let's actually just get out of there Yeah, 
I think somebody buffed me with that because that's not in my mood. Anyway, yeah, double check that you don't have any of that. You don't have a familiar that does attacks, um, anything like that. Then restore and head back over there. All right, so you're going to notice you're going to lose a decent amount of HP each time. So uh, what we want to do is just head on down that list, and I'll just drag it over here. Okay, so, oops, stupid snap too. There you go. All right, so just head down the list. Uh, use the heal scroll first and funk sling it with your deleveling items. And remember, you can only use these each once during the combat. So uh, we're going to use the heal scroll and the mouth soap. Now we can't use that heal scroll anymore. We'll go with scented massage oil, and we'll do some crayon shavings. And then we'll go with the soggy used band-aid. And a sea lasso. And next up is the New Age Healing Crystal. And we'll do a uh, Robin's Egg. And now um, we lost 320 HP. We need to heal that. You can see the extra strength red potion only does about 200. Uh, so this time we're not going to de-level. We're going to use the extra strength red potion. And we're going to funk sling that with a plaid bandage. And this should be the last round of sacrament. And there we go. You see we lose the effect. And we're still at 355 HP. Um, you may want to heal again, but as you can see, Yogurt is down to one attack and one defense. Uh, so we can't reuse any of those uh, healing items that we did before. So uh, we may want to just do a uh, heal and... Let's just use the Mountain Stream Soda and see. So, as you can see, after I healed, um, we only get two hit points of damage done uh, because Yogurt is down to one da uh, defense and one attack. Uh, so the attacks aren't going to be very potent. So you have um, you have a few choices here. Uh, hopefully your list is a little bit smaller so it's easier to sort through. Um, you can do the really expensive spells here. Uh, those aren't going to do a whole lot more damage than using the cheaper spells, usually, uh, like any of the uh, Postamancer or Saucer skills. So uh, let's just uh, do Saw Storm real quick and see what happens. Uh, 135 and 135 damage. So we probably only need to do that for a few rounds. And uh, you can use the same spells over and over. It's not like with items where you're limited to once per round or per the uh, per fight. And so yeah, three casts of that, and Yogurt's dead. Yogurt collapses to her knees. Uh, doesn't really have knees, but still. Um, and then you finish her off. And there you go, you get your instant karma. You get your cold stone of hatred. And you can, of course, discard that karma, and you'll have more of it to spend on skills later on. So um, that's pretty much it. That's how you do the, the C quickly and easily. So let's just review uh, what we did and how we did it. So we cleared out res our results first. So all these adventures in me is uh, just from this. So uh, we only used 44 adventures. It's not too bad. And uh, we spent almost 400,000 meat. That would have been a little bit worse if you had to use the fish juice box. Um, if you don't have the space gate, for example, or the uh, Aston Martin or... Um, there's other ways to get the underwater breathing effect, like if you're a turtle tamer and you get some ballast turtles, for example. Um, saucers with the uh, pressurized potions. Any of that stuff's going to help you save meat. Uh, but I'm kind of operating under the assumption that if you want to speed run the sea, that you don't care that much about spending, you know, less than half a million meat. Um, if you're really at that stage of speed running stuff, that's not a whole lot of meat. Uh, we'll probably make that back uh, pretty easily once we. Um, sell all our extra inventory stuff anyway um, but it's a good way to get karma a little bit of karma to boost your uh, your amounts for perming skills and then of course if you're trying to get all the hatred gear uh, that's a easy way to get all that 
Um, and so 44 Adventures is something that it's probably pretty easy to manage that after breaking the prism, unless you're like just barely making it before the end of your day. Otherwise, you know, that's a good way to break the prism. You get 13 instant, um, you're, if you're level 13, you get the instant karma for that. Uh, maybe you hit the leaderboard, you get another instant karma for that. Um, and then you can do this and get another one and you can build up karma a little bit faster, but uh, definitely possible. And uh, we did rely on a few items in the month for this one, just the Aston Martin, the Space Gate. And I used the Ta as my familiar, but that's definitely not required. Uh, you can use whatever familiar. I recommend something that gives item drops, though. Um, so really, you could do it without any items in the month, though, if you had the meat for it. Uh, that fish juice box is a good replacement for um, all of that. So uh, there's definitely more you can do in the sea after this, but you're done with this part. Uh, the deep city, you can't do anything else here until your next life. Uh, you can't do the gladiator path, and you can't fight daddy. Uh, but you can still go rescue grandma, uh, you can rescue mom, all that stuff if you desire. But other than that, we're finished with this. So um, this is my redo of the sea, the scholar path, speed run, 44 adventures, and minimal meat spent. Uh, hopefully there's no audio problems on this one. If there are, let me know, and I'll try to fix that. If this helps you out, uh, make sure you uh, like it. Definitely would appreciate that, or subscribe if you want to get more videos. I'm definitely going to be doing more KOL videos. Uh, maybe each of the challenge paths is uh, what I might start on next. I'm not sure. Uh, right now, I'm still working on perming all the class skills. Um, so once I get there, and yeah, it looks like I just have pasta mancer and seal clubber so once i finish those i'm going to start working on doing all the challenge paths again so i may do some videos on that just to show you how to do each one you know ed zombie slayer heavy rains etc so subscribe if you want to see those you'll get notified every time i do new ones and i post them and if you have any questions about this or you need any clarification on anything for this run definitely let me know in the comments uh, i always try to respond to everything uh, whenever anybody asks any questions or anything so just let me know uh, so that's it. See y'all later.